Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a really special video prepared for you guys. I'm gonna be collaborating over with the guys over at All From One Suppliers. Now, if you guys do not know what All From One Suppliers are, you guys are definitely missing out and you will need to check them out. So I'll have their website right here, All From One Suppliers, and this way you have easy access to them. And in my description box down below, I'm going to have their website, their social media, so this way you can keep up with them and see what products that they have. Now, All From One Suppliers is basically an online grocery store. They sell fresh goods, perishable goods, canned goods, dry goods, all that kind of stuff. They sell groceries and West Indian products. Now it's a little bit unheard of. This is something that is new because they sell fresh fish that is obviously frozen. They sell meats that are frozen and they sell different fresh vegetables, seasonings, and of course your classic dried goods like your beans, spices, and whatnot. Whatever we would need in our kitchen to use in our traditional Guyanese, West Indian, Trini, or Caribbean dishes. Now they were kind enough to put together a box of items for me so this way I can make a recipe for you guys. Alright guys, so I'm going to go through what I got in this box so you can see some of the items of the many items that they sell on their website. I wanted to let you guys know that no matter what it is that you put into your cart, fresh, frozen, spices, anything like that, you will get your package very, very quick. That's number one. And you will also get free shipping anywhere in the US. I'm already looking in here and I see that they package everything well. So the first thing you're going to get is a couple of flyers. You're going to get a little bit of a thank you note from them. And of course, you're going to get some flyers with any of their specials or any of their deals. So we know that Father's Day is coming up, so they sent me one of these flyers. And any events that they might be putting together, like they're having a travel span curry duck curry competition. And what they've done is they sent me one of these tote bags from All From One Suppliers. And they are associated with travel span and um, globe span. So this tote bag right here is pretty cool. So continuing on in the box with the actual items that I received to cook with, I'm going to start opening some of these packages. So the first item that I got was some green onions or some scallions. And this right here is going to be one of the main seasonings that I'm going to be using in my dish. And I see here that I got some spices. So I got some Indie brand Madras curry powder as well as some garam masala. So I got some garlic, another great seasoning for what I'm going to be using. And I also got some tomatoes. And guys, they sell everything. They sell American items, they sell West Indian items. Anything you could possibly want to cook with in your kitchen, they have it. So the next couple of items that I got in here is a bag of fresh okra. And guys, these okra look super, super fresh. They look awesome. And they're packaged really well. I'm really liking these bags that are labeled and that have everything within them. And the next thing I got is some fresh pimento peppers. Yes, for all of my Trini folks out there and Guyanese folks who love to use pimento peppers or seasoning peppers in their cooking, they have these fresh online. And the next thing I got is a package of culantro, also known as shadow benny. And this right here will also be a great seasoning for what I'm going to be making. So this is the other big box that was in that larger box. And usually what happens is if they're packing any frozen goods or anything that needs to be iced or kept frozen, they will put it in another box just so everything stays fresh and it stays frozen in transit. So I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is. So when you open this box, you're going to see that there is a cooler inside almost. It's packed up with foam and whatever you ordered or whatever is in there for you, it will be packed up in bags or tied up in bags. So I'm going to open up this first package. And the first thing that I'm seeing is some cut mango. Now this is green mango that is chopped and it's frozen. So if you guys ever need mango, this is a very quick and easy item to purchase online. And I got a nice big bag of weary weary peppers. For my Guyanese folks out there, you know that our dishes are not complete without these weary weary peppers. So moving on to the last bag, and this right here is the main star of the show for the dish that they have asked me to make. And inside here is a big bag of frozen bangamiri fish. Now for any of you guys all across the US, you know that any Guyanese fish, sometimes they're hard to get depending on where you live. But honestly, if you live anywhere in the US and you find it hard to get any traditional ingredients or stuff that you like to eat, Guyanese, West Indian, Caribbean, whatever the case may be, they have items like this online. They have smelts, they have white belly shrimp, they have all kinds of other seafood items and meat items that you can order. And again, these things are rock hard. I got this box a couple of hours, it's been sitting on you know, in my house for just a couple of hours until I had a chance to unbox this. And 
This will rock hard. So I'm going to be doing a bangamari curry recipe. Now everybody usually associates bangamari with being fried and either eaten with dal and rice or dipped in pepper sauce and ketchup or maybe even filleted and then put into a sandwich. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bangamari curry recipe. Alright guys, so Grammy went ahead and she cleaned the bangamari. All she did was she cut it into pieces, removed the scales, and she washed it really, really well with some vinegar, I mean some lime juice and some flour, right? Mm -hmm. And now? I'm adding some salt for season, season it to fry. And we have to fry it before we curry it. Some garlic, some black pepper, some ginger powder, and some thyme. And of course guys, you could season the fish however you want. You can also put fresh green seasoning on it or grind up garlic and pepper if you wish. But this is just the way we're going simple today with just these dried seasoning. Which is fresh seasoning, but I dry them and grind them. <laughs> oh yeah, Grammy does take all of her herbs and stuff and she dries them herself, so technically they are fresh. We mix it up. And do you leave it to marinate or no? I leave it a few minutes and then we start frying them. Before, I'm cutting up some scallions for the curry. So now Grammy's just chopping up some onions. You could slice it up or you could chop it. So this way you could put into our curry. And this part is optional because it's not really traditional to a Guyanese curry, but Grammy's chopping up some pimento peppers. And Grammy's just cutting up a very, very small piece of culantro or shadow benny. Alright guys, so basically we're going to mix our masala paste now. So we have our garlic and our hot pepper that we ground up. We have our Indi curry powder and we also have the Indi brand garam masala. Alright, so, so at this point Grammy's going to go ahead and she's going to put the masala inside of the bowl. And now Grammy is going to go in with that curry powder and add that on top of the masala. And of course all the ingredients and the proper measurements will be left in the description box below this video. So make sure you check that out as you're putting this recipe together. So onto that curry powder and the masala, Grammy is going in with that ground garlic and hot pepper. And if you need to loosen it up a little more, you can add in a little bit more water just to loosen it. So at this point, Grammy is just coating the fish with some flour and she's going to mix that in really well. We don't need a very heavy coating at all. All we need is a light coating so this way we can fry it and get it nice and crispy. And in this pot, we have some oil heating up. As you guys can see, it's glistening. You can see that it's nice and hot already. It's on a medium, medium high heat, and we're going to start the frying process now. So Grammy was just mentioning to me that they're not going to fry the fish very, very brown and crispy. The reason behind that is just because you don't want to overcook your fish, right? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to continue cooking in the curry and you don't want it to be overcooked and hard. So the first thing that we're doing to start cooking our curry after we finish frying all of our fish is we put some oil into our curry and we go went in with our sliced onions. And now we're going in with a couple of the scallions. Alright, now at this point Grammy's going to go in with her chopped tomatoes. And this is of course after the onions and the scallions have gone nice and golden brown all over. So we gotta let this cook down a little bit too, right? Mm -hmm. And now Grammy's also gonna go in with that curry paste that we made a little bit earlier. And once you add in this curry paste, you have to cook it down really well for about four to five minutes or until the oil starts to release back from the mixture and until it looks a little bit grainy and dry. And at this point, Grammy's also going to go in with a little bit of salt. And we like to add salt when we're cooking our curry paste because it tends to add a nice flavor and flavors the dish. So as you guys can see, after about four to five minutes, you're going to see that it catches or sticks a little bit at the bottom. And it looks a little bit drier than it was. And at this point, Grammy's going to go in with all of the okra that we've washed. And it's just a couple of pieces. You could put as much or as little as you want. And we're going to allow this to binge down for a little bit. And once your okra is fried for about a minute, you're going to go in with some water. 
Now the thing with fish curry is that you need to create the gravy first, being that the fish cooks so quick and we already partially fried, fried it. Curry. Yeah. So you have to create the gravy first, so this way it can soak up all of that gravy when it goes in. And what are we going to do? Just allow this to boil down a little bit and thicken yeah, up? Yeah, once it starts boiling and thicken up, we put the fish. Okay. So once your sauce or your gravy has bubbled down just a little bit and it's reduced, we're going to go in with our pimento peppers just so this way they're still fresh. And at this point you can also give the curry a taste for salt to make sure it is nice and seasoned as per your liking. And you also want to make sure that the okra is about three quarters of the way to fully cooked because once you add this fish in, it's not going to take long at all. And at this point, Grammy is going to be going in with all of the fish that we had fried off earlier. And you have to make sure that you're being very careful when you put it in and make sure you don't stir Bangamere it up too much. is a very soft fish. Yeah. It will fall apart if you mash it up or turn it up too much. And what, we're going to let it simmer for like five minutes? And then mm. take it off? Yeah. Yeah. And that's really it, guys. Your fish curry is going to be done very, very soon. All right, guys. This is the finished product. Grammy helped me make this nice bangamari curry. As you guys can see, the fish is still nice and intact. You don't want to mash it up. Your okras are intact and the gravy is nice and thick and you have lots of pimento peppers, your onions, your tomatoes and all those flavorings running through. So I really really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I just want to thank Grammy for showing me how to put this together. So I just want to thank you guys again for making it to the end of this video. Remember all of these ingredients were sponsored from All From One suppliers. I'm going to have their website right here and I'm going to have it in the description box down below along with their social media. Make sure you guys check them out. You can buy any of your West Indian ingredients or regular ingredients that you want to use in your kitchen and they can be shipped right to your door for free shipping and at a great I also wanted to let you guys know that these boxes are absolutely amazing because if you feel like making a certain dish or cooking a set of dishes and you really don't want to go to the grocery store to buy all of the ingredients, you can literally purchase everything right up to the oil and the salt you need to put together your recipes and you can buy that, get it all in one box, prepare your recipe and then you're done. It's quick and simple just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you go ahead and check out All From One Suppliers once again. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Join the Matthews Dynasty Cooking family. All you gotta do is click that red subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so this way you're notified every time I post one of my newest videos. And of course, give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. If you guys ordered from All From One Suppliers, let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you try this recipe, let me know your thoughts on that as well. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye everyone.